to just a brief uh, tutorial on the new DMM software. This is just phase one of the development. Uh, there's a lot more phases is coming. Uh, I just want to kind of show you some of the basics. Uh, phase one is the Mac OS uh, general features. And then phase two is the um, uh, uh, mobile feature. Uh, and then, of course, then the phase three is more of uh, adding more advanced features. Uh, so, um, so let's start right now. I'm just going to open up uh, this software. Uh, as you can see, it's open up here. Uh, first step we're going to do is we're going to go to a settings. Uh, uh, you can you just choose your Serato folder. I try not to make it so it's auto detected because I find maybe people want to test it out. Uh, right now, it doesn't alter anything on your Serato. It doesn't make any changes on there. It just collects the information. So you don't have to worry about it doing anything. Um, it's still beta, but it doesn't alter anything. Um, so let's do a, let's pick one of my sample here. And then um, I'm going to close that. So once you, once you click on that, you close it. Once you cl uh, close that, it's saved. Um, Next step we're going to do is we're going to click our sync button. Once you click on that, it will collect all your tracks and boom, we're done. Okay. And now you have all your track information from your Serato and you can browse through all your crates. Uh, you can expand your crates. Um, the good thing about this is it will, whatever crates are opened or closed, it will maintain the same because I know a lot of times people have crates that are set differently and you know, and th this way you kind of have like a nice, uh, you remember where your crate is, um, regardless if you're using Serato or you're using DMM. Um, as you can see over here, uh, if you see this over here, this is your smart crates. So if you have smart crates, uh, you'll, you can't, we, you're not able to modify it, but you can kind of view it and take a look at it. Uh, I'm just going to show you over here. Here's some of the, um, um, uh, some of the uh, columns uh, options here. There's going to be more options in the column coming up very soon uh, in phase three, where you're going to have more advanced columns like uh, star rating. Um, you know, you're going to see a uh, waveform. You can be able to play your songs using the waveforms. There's going to be more advanced features with the syncing of your songs going to the cloud. Uh, right now, it already syncs to the cloud. Um, uh, but I haven't activated that feature yet. Um, uh, but once we go into that phase two with the iOS version, uh, you will be able to sync it to the to the cloud. Uh, over here, you see your playlist. So whatever you know, you can see your plays and how often you play your songs and whatnot. Um, and like I said. There's going to be more columns that's going to be added in here. You can sort them out. You can search them out. You can do a lot of cool features with it. Uh, you, you have the what's called a scan. Uh, this feature here will just scan to get your cover arts and your plays. And that's pretty much it. Um, um, and also collect your waveform. Um, there's a lot of cool features that are going to be added in here. Uh, I'm just going to find some song that I'm just going to play to kind of give an idea, uh, something that will not be copyright strike. So let's find, uh, normally find something good over, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's find something, something that, you know, let's play a few seconds of it here. So let's just click on that. All right, I'm just going to stop that. Um, once you click on that, you can, you know, you can browse it. You can, uh, right, and you can play that. It gives you information in here. Also collects your information for your, uh, how, from your Serato. So if you already have, um, if you can see over here, you see your color is in here. You see your color is in there. Um, whatever color you've set, you know, on your Serato will be in here. Um, the goal in phase three is you'll be able to change all that information. You'll be able to, uh, there's going to be, um, an extra menu that's going to be over here. You'll be able to change your, um, tag and, uh, uh, we're gonna, my goal is to introduce more advanced tagging. So that way you'll be able to sort your music out. 
uh, and also uh, the star rating is going to be in there as well. Um, I mean, you'll be able to substitute because Strato has a limited amount of uh, uh, information you can really put in tags. So the goal is to, you can substitute one of your tag, like maybe comment, label, or so, a tag that you're not using. And you can easily convert that into a rating. So you can be able to rate your songs and then you... Uh, uh, there's going to be more advanced features with uh, smart tagging where you can uh, tag songs and also uh, one other features that I would like to implement would be um, uh, a feature where you'll be able to um, uh, uh, rate songs and DJs will be able to see the rating on those songs and it kind of say okay how much how much plays DJs are playing and how often you're able to play it. Um, you want to be able to play it. I, I really, I'm trying to limit. <laughs> I'm trying to go not go too fast, but I don't want to make the, make the video very long here. Uh, as you can see, all your songs are in here. Uh, you got different options of being able to, um, you know, change the different style of your grid. And this is cover art. So if if we do a scan, I don't want to run a scan right now. If you do a scan, it will get you all the cover art for you. Uh, you know, it shouldn't take that. Uh, takes about it doesn't take that long to get that information. It's pretty quick. Um, uh, you know what? Uh, just to do a test here. Hopefully, you guys are still watching. Uh, I'm just gonna run a quick scan. It's just gonna scan all of them right now. You can see how quick that is. All right, so the goal of the software is to be able to do a lot, uh, uh, make things a lot faster, so it's easier. And you know, as you can see, the cover art is already populated in here. Uh, all your plays are showing up in here. All my plays, actually. This is just a sample playlist, so it doesn't really have a whole lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, you can see on the corner over here uh, what type of uh, audio it is. Uh, you can also filter it down here over here to just videos. So you can filter it down to just audios or uh, most likely all of them as well. All right. Um, what else do I want to show you guys here? Uh, you do have the day night mode, so you know if you like it brighter, you know it's up to you. And I like it darker myself, so uh, depend on uh, your preference. Uh, and if you decide, you know, you want to start all over again, you just go over here. And we're just gonna do that in a few seconds here. Um, you know, it's a lot of cool features with it. You know, um, I love the. This is a custom made. Uh, I thought this is awesome. But if you guys want me to change anything on the software, you know, please follow me on this on the Discord. Uh, I'm able to implement a lot of features, and I want to be able to engage, like I said, engage the community to implement all the features uh, that Serato doesn't offer and put them here. You know, Serato will still be your main software, but you can use this software to be able to manage your tracks and and also do it on your phone as well. So um, you'll be able to manage it here and use your phone to also manage it and will reflect back into your Serato. Um, um, it's safe. It's I've tested it out myself. Uh, right now, I, you know, the, the, the phase one doesn't modify anything. So it's just to view it and you can see what the hell you're doing in there. Um, uh what else i would like to show uh i mean like i said uh i would like to introduce uh, more features uh, like api system for uh, uh music b so that way you're able to fix your tags uh, so you're able to kind of get uh, different tag information of uh so you can kind of so all your music or your tag information your music are accurate I, you know those are features that will be implemented in phase three and four and uh also, I'd like to introduce more features like uh, uh, your music pool, so that way you're able to uh, get your songs and down it automatically downloads into the system and then show up in your Serato. So you're not, you know, you're able to download it on your phone. It will kind of automatically download it to your laptop once you open it up, and and it will populate on your Serato, and you're able to play your music right there. Um, uh, I, you know, and then I, I just want to show you the last step here, which would be. Uh, you're able to hide this here, so you know if you don't like, if you want a minimum minimum uh, view, you know uh, maximum view, you can always do that as well. 
Um, one other cool feature that would be in phase three and four would be to have the, um, so you see your playlist here, uh, you'll be able to open the different playlist on the right over here. So you can, you're able to drag songs in between and, and there's going to be an extra menu up here as well for, uh, more of a smart grid and you'll be able to click and drag, uh, the songs over. Uh, so there's a lot, there's a lot of features that that can be implemented here that I think the community would really love. Um, my goal is if this is something you guys are interested in, please, please, you know, f join the discord. So I'm able to implement all the features you would like to, you know, you would love to see. Okay. So please, uh, if you, if you, uh, on, on the 25th, the beta is going to be released. Uh, you, you'll be able to download it and install it on your own computer for free. Um, uh, it's not code signed yet uh, by my by Apple because uh, I haven't released it on the App Store, so it's not code signed. So if you if you try to install it, you might get a warning. So, so don't worry about it. It's just not code signed by Apple yet because I haven't released it to the store. Uh, if you want to find out where to find uh, the the kind of keep up with the project, uh, you click on this link over here. Uh, you're able to. Um, you open up, uh, you'll, you'll be able to open up the Discord and follow up with the project and check updates. Uh, so like I said, if there's anything else, uh, I'll take any ideas. If you feel like there's something that you feel like Serato is not giving you, uh, just throw it my way on the Discord channel and, you know, I'll find a way to see if we can implement that and, you know, make the software just as good as any of software out there. Like I said, this software is not to replace Serato. This is just to supplement Serato uh, to make it, you know, add a little more features to it that is not being implemented with Serato. Um, oh, and also one last thing I want to do, I want to explain is the goal too also is to be able to take your playlist from Serato and be able to transition all your songs between the multiple different uh, DJ software. So if you have a DJ software with, uh, you know, Rekabox, Virtual DJ, or, uh, you know, uh, Tractor, you'll be able to move your music library between all, all of those software. So, and be able to export them and, you know, and that's the goal of this. And, and maybe you to back them up as well. Okay, and your songs will be stored on the cloud as well as being able to listen to it on your phone as you go and manage your crate. And also, uh, one last thing oh, sorry, I keep saying that uh, would be able to the features gonna coming up in the, in the phase three and four would be um, your hot cues is gonna be you know kind of up in there, you'll be able to adjust it, you know. Uh, how you want it you know, it's a lot of cool features i want to implement but i won't be able to implement that if you guys don't let me know on the on the discord channel uh, so please like i said go on the discord channel let me know what feature you love to uh, see on this and also this is going to be coming out uh, you'll be able to test this out this uh, test this uh, software yourself uh september 25th okay so september 25th uh, 12 uh, 1 p.m uh, mountain time uh, beta will be released on the Discord channel. You'll be able to download it and install it and try it yourself, okay? Thank you very much, guys. Uh, follow Discord. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.